Hey everybody, so um, today I'm going to talk about the uh, second pillar um, of Penn Money's plans for 2022. Um, this is the second, what I consider the second most important priority for Bitcoin Cash. Um, and I'm also interested to hear what you think uh, Bitcoin Cash most needs in 2022. So uh, marketing, BCH marketing, but high level marketing, right? So B when you say like BCH marketing, like that, that, can, that's, that can be a vague concept, right? Some people just think, well, we just need to onboard all the merchants and then tell everybody all the different ways they can use the Bitcoin.com wallet. You know, I've, I've, I've discussed why I don't, that's not really, that's, that's, that's a simplistic conception, right? So everything that involves like, um, you know, uh, affiliating merchants and orienting new people and stuff, I, I call that onboarding, right? And all of that has uh, a local focus, right? Because that, that tends to happen on the ground, either literally, you know, on the ground in different areas across the globe, or, you know, even if it's via digital marketing, it's still figuratively on the ground because you some aspects of it have to be tailored to each each uh, area, you know, uh, like South America or sorry, uh, Latin America can be dealt with fairly as a whole, except for Brazil, of course, Brazil, they speak a different language and, you know, that's going to require a separate approach, you know, but also within Latin America, like you're going to talk to uh, people in Honduras differently than you will people in Argentina, for example. And of course, you know, what you're going to say to, uh, you know, so a lot of the things that you're going to say are the same across the globe, but you're not always going to say them the same way with the same faces and the same voices, etc. cetera, uh, you know, for, for Latin America as you do for Africa or Asia, of course. So, that's really local onboarding, right? Um, and so when I say marketing at a high level, like high level BCH marketing, what I'm talking about is um, first, it's 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 addressing the whole globe. It's it's addressing things like from you know thirty thousand feet, um, and so you know because of the way that that uh, the the crypto ecosystem is probably it's going to be mostly directed at developed world people uh, with investors, people already in the crypto space, right? So I think there, there's some key areas that need to be dealt with. First, I would like to see a, uh, a brand uh, refresh uh, for Bitcoin Cash. So, you know, some people will get a little nervous, you know, at this, but like I would... You know, first of all, the Bitcoin Cash has no official brand identity, right? It has no official logo, right? Uh, people just kind of use what they like, and there, are, there, are, you know, there's there's orange and there's green. Orange, basically, nobody uses orange anymore. Um, there are different shades of green, right? So, um, I mean, and people have put forth both in public and private, different shades that they consider authoritative, but there is no authoritative shade at the end of the day. Uh, I think it would be good if we focused on using one particular shade, whatever. Um, and then, but I think that the key, you know, and so we have a flag logo, we have a circular logo, thanks to uh, BitcoinBCH.com. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're responsible for putting that out uh, in 2021, right? So there's actually a precedent for doing brand refreshes, right? Because in the beginning it was orange, then everybody started moving to green. In the beginning it was the flag logo. Now uh, there's somebody, BitcoinBCH.com, did a... Uh, offered a brand refresh to a circular logo, right? So, and of course, the fact that I think there should be a brand refresh places no obligation on anyone actually, I mean, I have to do it, right? And I, I, I probably will. We'll see what happens. But, you know, of course, to those who are parano a little bit paranoid and get jittery, um, you know, I, I think that, like, the elements that have to be preserved, right, that make the logo uniquely uh, a Bitcoin Cash logo is of course the bitcoin b 
uh, the backward uh, leaning one, right? And um, probably some, uh, some shade of green has to be predominant uh, in the logo for it to still be uh, recognizable, right? Um, you know, but uh, I think we would benefit from, you know, uh, taking the logo up a notch, right? And I welcome your thoughts on that because, you know, obviously as someone who's, you know, ultimately the role, my role would be to, you know, would be launching a new visual identity into the marketplace and others can either adopt it or not, right? So if you have thoughts on that, um, you know, or if you have things like, well, I'm only going to adopt it if it's like this and I'm de if it's like this, it's, it's, it's a showstopper. I'm definitely not going to adopt it, you know. So it'd be really nice if, if anybody could share any thoughts they have there. Um, you know, I think that would, because I definitely want to have lots of uh, input and feedback, uh, you know, on this process, assuming I, I undertake it. Um, you know, and of course, you know, any, any thoughts you put out, they're going to be available to anybody who might be thinking about, um, you know, uh, doing a, a brand refresh or producing an alternative logo, right? But it, it can't stop there. There needs to be a major brand marketing campaign. So brand marketing is is high level. I think high level marketing, where we basically tell this a story of Bitcoin Cash, but not not a story that's like, well, it's a fork of Bitcoin and blah blah blah, right? And not like, not BTC centric, right? Like why Bitcoin Cash? And I've talked about like the OSM. Um, strategy in a, in a previous episode of the vlog. Uh, so that, that kind of covers that, right? And, and this, the, basically there has to be new content and refreshes of content and, and listings, um, you know, in all the entry points where people will become aware of Bitcoin Cash, right? So Google search results, YouTube search results, um, you know, maybe Bitcoin talk, um, you know, coin market cap. Um, I've actually tried to uh, regain access to coin market cap, um, the BCH listing there. Uh, I was very public about this. There was a thread on our Bitcoin Cash about it. Uh, everybody seemed to be happy with it. But, um, you know, post the the uh, 2020 uh, network split um, that got reset and now only who the people who control bch.info are going to have any access to that so um i haven't I, you know haven't been able to do anything with that but um you know that's just one one thing so um and then i would like really like to uh coordinate with uh the bchn uh people or at least some one person in bch so that we can do some uh, like uh, add add some mystique uh, to the uh, protocol development process, kind of like how Tron, uh, not Tron, how kind of like how Cardano does it, right? Like they name everything and like the Shelly test net and you know all this stuff. I mean, it's a little bit pretentious, right? But it's also effective because it it, it produces a constant stream of what looks like new developments and new work, right? And so, like, I don't want to get in the way of the protocol dev guys, and I know that can be a delicate process sometimes, but it would be really nice if there could be just a little bit of a coordination there, you know, so that, like, I could I could add that that flair, that mystique, and, and, and you know, produce some, like, now we have the Voltaire test net, I don't know. I don't know what form it would take, you know, whatever. But like, just, you know, take things that come out of protocol development, uh, that whole process, chips, you know, like we need a roadmap also. And, and, and get that out there, you know, create a pipeline to take those advancements, right? It, like prediction markets is part of this, uh, Jason Dreisner's thing. ZECEs, you know, look those up, zero something, cup, cup zero, I, I forget what, what they're, they're, but basically ZCEs are very interesting. They're going to enable, uh, like, I, I, it seems like they might enable absolute instant security 
uh, for zero comp uh, payments on Bitcoin Cash. So truly instant uh, payments, um, instantly settled with a high level of security. Uh, you know, another really interesting thing uh, from Jason Dreis Dreisner, whom you should follow. Uh, I'm pretty sure he, he's at bitjson on Twitter. Um, anyway, got off on a tangent there, but like we need to create basically a pipeline that takes um, real things, right, from the protocol development process um, and communicates them to the Bitcoin Cash faithful, right? The, 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 the army, the, the soldiers, the potential investors, the, the, the cheerleaders, and, you know, keeps people interested, informed, excited about what's coming down the pike uh, in Bitcoin Cash. So <clears throat> that's the second pillar uh, for Pen Money in uh, 2022. Um, and um, the more videos coming soon. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, interested to hear what you think Bitcoin Cash needs in 2022. Let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.